Christophe, thank you to be with us. Uh, as uh, Cédric said, we have a, a tradition to, to put on stage uh, the ad technology disruptors. So what is S4M? And after that, we'll discuss about this sector. So thanks to, uh, <coughs> to invite me here. Um, so I will start with an example. Um, I know, Gail, you are very healthy. So I imagine you are running on a park on a Saturday afternoon. After you run, you take your smartphone, open your favorite app, I'm guessing the FT, and you see this uh, wonderful ad, shoes, running shoes. Uh, right size, right color, ready to buy, just outside the park in the shop waiting for you. Uh, actually, this is what we do at S4M every day. S4M means our uh, success for mobile is to transform uh, our mobile um, native technologies, uh, transforms traditional advertising into customized valued message at scale. So, uh, so technology is able to reach the right person with the right message uh, at the right moment and the right, at the right time. So at right you place. like what? You <coughs> like a Criteo for the mobile, for the uh, mobile devices? We are working on it. We're yes. far from that, from that but uh, yes, actually we try. But you're to not add. working on cookies because there is no cookie on. No cookies doesn't work properly on mobile, so we had to uh, find new ways to uh, to do the tracking and uh, etc. Uh, so uh, what we do actually is we are helping marketers to reach right, uh, the right person, and actually to spend money only on people who are gonna convert with them. So as we are able to track everything from impression to conversion. We know in real time what's, uh, what's working, what's not working, so we are able, and our algorithm are able to take the right decision at the right time. Mm -hmm. So our job is to, uh, uh, let's say, to increase at the maximum the um, media spend effectiveness. How you explain that in France we have a lot of good tech for ad market and advertising market? Right. Criteo, and we also invite the description term for, for, for advertising, so. Actually, we, I think uh, there is two reasons. Uh, the first one is, first of all, we are very good engineers. So our uh, tech guys are quite, uh, are quite good and um, not so expensive comparing uh, here to the US. You have, uh, they are cheaper in France. And the second reason, in the, I don't know why, but French is good at advertising since uh, uh, for a long time. Uh, you have on the five media uh, big holding agencies, we have two French ones, we have, you have Publicis, you have Avas. And I think you have a lot of creative people in France. So I think it's a good combination between creative and tech. So we are able to, to uh, produce good creative technology and ad tech. It's always about creative, about message. You, you have Blue Ships clients. How do they use your, your technology to, to drive to store or to drive to web? Actually, you have many problematic. You have some clients who want to make some branding campaigns or to uh, increase their awareness, uh, increase their uh, memorization. And also you have, <clears throat> because uh, mobile is also, the, uh, uh, you can track people from um, an online exposure to an uh, offline uh, visit uh, in store. So we can, we can make the link. So of course now, more, uh, more brief are about driving people into the store, but the stores are always uh, offline, but they are also online, and we invite also the brands um, to uh, develop online shops through mobile, because when you have, uh, let's say, 40% of your audience on your mobile, uh, before thinking about are gonna, are <coughs> are they gonna convert in a, on the website or off, uh, in the store, they can they can make you, uh, they can buy your product within um, a mobile purchase funnel. And how do you sell the the product? Is it CPM? Is it uh, a retainer? Actually, it's uh, on CPM basis, uh, but we go a step further. Here in the U.S., we are uh, we are selling a, a unique product, which is cost per landing page. And what's a cost per landing page is uh, when the, um, people have seen the ad, uh, have fully seen the ad, plus click on the ad, and effectively arrived on the landing page of the customer. So we we've been through um, U.S. certifications, the MRC, uh, which what is MRC? Uh, Media Rating Council. Actually, it's uh, guidelines uh, from the IAB, and uh, it's about standards. So we are going 
over the standards, and we are able to grant it to our client to pay only uh, to get what they paid for. And, and the MRC standards is what is what Google and Facebook had, or actually Google and Facebook are, um, have this certification, but only for uh, the desktop space. Uh, we have it for mobile, and we are, we are the only ones uh, in the world to have it for the post-click conversion uh, matrix. So we are able to grant it to the clients that when they are buying this gospel landing uh, landing page, this is effectively true. Okay. A lot of people talking that the devices will disappear. Uh, so a lot of people imagine that in the next five years, uh, you will have no device on your hand and the web, the online mobile will change. Fabrice Granda, for example, wrote an article on that a few, I, a few months about, about that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the only thing I can bet today is maybe uh, uh, the, the browsing is dead. Uh, I think apps are taking over the world today. You have app everywhere. You have app, of course, on your phone, but you have also app in your watch today, uh, also in your TV. So applications are taking over the world. So I can bet on the, uh, uh, that the Browsing will disappear in the next five years. After about the about mobile, I don't know. I think people like to have um, it's tactile, so uh, you need you like to have it with you. Um, I'm working in the mobile industry for up to 12 years now. I, I've seen small screens and bigger screens, and again small screens. But actually, I, I think you you need to have something in hand to uh, to communicate, etc. But maybe watches will. Uh, and if we talking about cross-border for the advertising market. What's your idea? It's to launch your business here or to try to find someone like AppNexus to, to, buy, <laughs> to buy S4M in the next few years? Or? Actually, we, we have everything in hand to build, uh, to build a giant. So um, I'm more the one who want to eat the others and want to be eaten. Uh, that's um, a way of life. And after we are, we just we have opened a business office here uh, six months ago, so we are starting operation. So there is some market traction. So now what we need is to invest more and to spend more time and to work out to unlock the um, so, uh, to unlock market shares. But I think we have everything to uh, to succeed here, and actually we are working on it. Are you going to do like uh, Jean-Baptiste Rudel when he launched Criteo? He trying to to erase the fact that he was uh, French uh, to, to attack the market. Do you, do you think that you have the same problem that you are coming from France? Actually, if you, um, I think you're uh, listening to my accent, so it's, it's hard for me to hide my, uh, that I'm French. Uh, but actually, we can be proud. Again, we have a very good uh, engineers. We, I think our tech can be disruptive. We have uh, Criteo, of course, um, it's a big brother we want to follow, but there is other examples. You have Tiki ads just been bought by um, Comcast. So again, we, uh, we can be proud to be French. And at the end of the day, I think nobody cares about uh, where you're from. You care about how your tech is performing and what's your proven result and what you can uh, make with your tech. Thank you, Christophe. Thank, Thank you, you so much.